Away from the canals and bridges of tourist Amsterdam is a macabre assemblage of deformity and disfigurement. It can be found at the city's Vrolijk Museum, one of the world's great collections of human mutants. The Frolik Museum is a house of horrors, a vision of hell, but one that is cleansed of moral value, one based entirely upon scientific values, in which horrors are presented for the sake of understanding. Teratology, the science of monsters, was fashionable in the 19th century. But then, obscurity claimed it. No longer. These days, museums such as the Froelich have gained new value as molecular biologists examine the rows upon rows of babies in bottles. Most of the specimens in the Froelich Museum are mutants, the result of errors in one of the 30,000 or so genes contained within the human genome. Genes that are needed to give our bodies order, that are needed for life itself. I can't deny there's a pleasure, if a guilty one, in the macabre, in seeing things which one just hardly imagined could have possibly existed. Until you have walked around a collection such as the Frolix, it's difficult to appreciate the possibilities of the human body.